The barbell row is one of the most simple and effective exercises you can do to train your back muscles. Your lats, traps, rhomboids, rear deltoids and spinal erectors are all challenged, basically leaving you with a complete back workout. But there are several barbell row variations, which variation suits your training goals best? In this video, I will discuss 6 barbell row variations and will help you decide which variation suits your training goals best. Let's start with the first variation which is a basic overhand grip barbell row. You initiate this exercise the same way you would do a deadlift. Place the barbell over your midfoot. Now put your shoulder blades over the barbell and deadlift the weight up. From here, lower your torso until you are almost parallel to the floor and row the weight up. Try to keep your upper body as stable as possible. A common mistake with the barbell row is swinging the upper body to move the weight more easily. We want controlled movement so that your back muscles can do the working. Another common mistake with the barbell row is standing too upright. If you stand almost straight up, the range of motion your back muscles go through is minimal. Now, for some people, their mobility may not allow them to lean forward as much. So I'd suggest bending forward as far as you can comfortably while maintaining a neutral spine. Let's go into the second row variation which is the underhand grip row. If we compare the overhand grip row and underhand grip row, we can typically see a difference in terms of elbow angle. With an underhand grip row, your elbows are usually more tucked inward, whereas with an overhand grip row, you typically have a wider elbow angle. This impacts which muscles are trained. With a wider elbow angle, the upper back muscles like your rhomboids, mid traps and rear deltoids are trained more. With the underhand grip, the resistance is more in line with the lower region of your lats, so the lats get trained harder. With an underhand grip row, your wrist is of course also supinated, so you train the biceps a little bit more with an underhand grip row. A common mistake with the underhand grip row is looking up and overly extending your spine. Keep a neutral spine position throughout the movement. It is also possible to do a T-bar row, which is most often done with a V-bar attachment. Since this V-bar attachment is quite narrow, this is another exercise that is helpful for training the lower region of your lats. I like the T-bar row, but this is an exercise that is susceptible to ego lifting. It is tempting to put a lot of weight on the bar and use momentum while standing mostly upright. But remember, the function of your lats is shoulder extension. So we want to lean forward properly and maintain a stable torso throughout the movement to effectively extend the shoulder. Now, if you want to make use of the T-bar but want to have slightly more focus on your upper back, the Meadows row is an excellent alternative. This is basically a one-arm standing row with a unique angle. You can train the back with more range of motion and place your lats and upper back muscles through a greater stretch. So if you are bored of regular one-arm dumbbell rows, definitely give the Meadows row a try. The last two barbell row variations that I will show you are particularly useful for those that struggle with controlling torso position during barbell rows. If subconsciously you start using more momentum with the barbell row, consider doing pentlay rows or seal rows. With a pentlay row, you are basically doing an overhand grip row but with a strictly flat back that is parallel to the floor. To ensure you keep the back mostly parallel to the floor, you have a small pause at the bottom of the row by tapping the floor with the barbell. With a seal row, you also limit momentum because you are locked into position. A seal row is done by laying on a bench and pulling a barbell towards your chest. With a seal row, you typically can't lift as much weight as with a standing barbell row because all of the force you produce needs to come from the back muscles and biceps. There is no room for momentum use unless you try really hard to use momentum. The seal row takes your spinal erectors out of the equation, which is a good thing if you experience low back pain during barbell rows. If it is not practical to set up for a seal row at your gym, you can also do chest supported rows with dumbbells for a similar effect. Also, in this video I have discussed different barbell row variations, but it is of course also possible to do different row variations with dumbbells. For instance, you can do an overhand grip and underhand grip dumbbell row to mimic the first two barbell row variations discussed in this video. If you experience low back discomfort with bent over rows, also feel free to use cable row variations. A personal favorite of mine to use for people that have low back pain is doing inverted rows. You can alter the exercise based on your level of advancement. 
keeping the knees bent makes this exercise more manageable. Elevating your feet makes this exercise a greater challenge. I would typically suggest including a row variation at least two times per week as part of a balanced training routine in which you also do some vertical pulling like the lat pull down or pull ups. I hope this video was helpful for getting familiar with the different barbell row variations out there in their form. If you found this video helpful then leave me a thumbs up by pressing that like button. Also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and I hope to see you in the next video.